Over these next 24 hours, going to be four key things we're watching travel, turkey, football, and a certain parade. And we've got them all covered for you tonight. Mar McDonald is live as all the floats are being put into place. We'll get to Mar in just a moment, but first we're going to start with Hank Winchester. He's live at Metro Airport. Hank, uh, good news here. No big hang ups there at the airport today. No, great news, Kimberly. In fact, take a live look behind me here. We're in the McNamara Terminal here at DTW, and you can see it is not crowded at all. Let me uh, have you take a live look at the main security checkpoint. You can see a few people in line, but again, this is not an issue. It's actually pretty surprising that things are this smooth. Let's take a look over here at the board so you can get an idea of how things are going. Uh, there are absolutely, excuse me, sir, there are uh, no delays, no cancellations. I mean, this is about a perfect a scenario as you could predict here at Detroit Metro. Now, having said all of that, as you know, things can change just like that. That's why the TSA encouraging all of you to get here at least two hours before your departure. Make sure you take some time, whether you're flying out of this terminal or the Evans terminal, uh, to check the flight status. You remember last year we dealt with all of those last minute cancellations, some involving weather, some involving the airlines not having enough employees. So take the time, make sure everything is set before you make your way here. But if you are flying tonight, Man, you are in luck. Things here at Detroit Metro look great. We're going to continue our coverage. We'll see you back here tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live here. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank, Local 4. Great to hear. All right, Hank, from Metro, let's uh, head east and move downtown. Work well underway for the main event. We're talking about America's Thanksgiving parade. It's going to make its way down Woodward Avenue, and we can't wait. Mar McDonald is live tonight as a rollout of all these floats well underway, Mara. Kimberly, take a look. This is one of the newest ones that is going to be gracing the parade route. It's from Barton Mallow, and it is absolutely huge. You've got to take a look at the perspective that Drone 4 got here on Woodward so you get an idea of what it looks like right now. And you know what? The night before the parade has really become almost um, a family tradition for a whole lot of people. They come down here, they have dinner, and they bring the little ones out here so they can get an up close and personal look at all these floats. You know, not everybody can get up at zero dark 30 to make it down to the parade, and little ones don't always do so well out in the cold for several hours. This way they can come out, they can take a look at these floats, they can see the magic up close and personal. And as somebody who's been on this parade <laughs> route um, in some really bad weather we're talking sleet snow and hail it is a beautiful night to come out and take a look at these floats we're live in midtown right now i'm mara mcdonald local four absolutely okay mara thank you and our coverage of america's thanksgiving parade gets underway at six tomorrow morning so stay with us all morning leading up to the parade that starts at nine